Hi, my name is Peter and I'm the main developer of the Simon Open Source Speech Recognition Solution. In this short video I'm going to show off the version 0.3 of Simon, the newest release, and I'm going to show you what you can do with it after you installed it yourself. So on this notebook right here I installed Simon but I didn't yet open it up. So just open your start menu, go to applications, um, and you will find Simon in Utilities. So scroll down and here you get Speech Recognition Simon. So just launch it. And when Simon is started for the first time, you get this Welcome Wizard. Scenarios are predefined use cases of the Speech Recognition. So you can, for example, download a scenario to control Firefox, a scenario to type texts, or to control your mouse. Think of this part as an app store for speech recognition. So if I click Get Scenarios, I get a list of available scenarios that are online. For example, here's a scenario to control the Xbox Media Center. Here's a scenario to control your keyboard. And here's a scenario to control Simon itself. You can always see that these are English scenarios and these are German scenarios just because they have the tag in front of it. You can also see that these scenarios will work with the FoxFudge model which we will use later on. That's what the VF stands for. For now I'll just select the mouse control scenario. Uh, in the details section I can see a little description about the scenario as well as a list of command it pr uh, commands it provides. So. To download the mouse control scenario, I just select install and it will be downloaded and installed. If I go back, it has a little marker here. I can then continue and download as many scenarios as I want, but I think it's enough for now. So select close and continue. In this step I can configure in this step you can configure base models. If you don't want to do any training, you can just as well set up a static base model that models a normal English speaker. Because we don't want to do any training in this uh, demonstration video, we will set up Simon to select a static base model. In the configuration dialog you have three choices. Select static model to skip training entirely. Now you only need to point Simon to the files of the space model you want to use. If you click on help, you get the link to our wiki, which contains a list of available base models and where you can download them. I have already downloaded the English FoxFudge model before I started this recording, so I just need to point Simon to the right files. You will see here that it asks for specific files, namely the HMM definitions, tight list, macros and stats. So I just need to open these files, which will be included in the tarball you download. I have already extracted this, so I just need to point Simon to the actual files. There we go. This might look a bit complicated at first, but believe me, it's very easy. In this help button you will find more information, as well as in the Simon application manual, which can be found pressing this button. But for now this is OK, so just select OK and continue with the wizard. In this step we can set up Simon to connect to a remote server. Because we don't want to do this, we can just keep the default values. Now we get to the sound setup. Simon has correctly chosen our headset as the input device. This is OK, so we just continue. Here we get to the volume calibration. If you say a few words, you will see that Simon has recognized that the volume is correct. So we can just continue. This completes our installation wizard and if we select finish, Simon will be launched. This is the Simon main window. On the upper right corner right here, we can see the currently active scenario. Right now, this is standard, an empty scenario that is shipped with the Simon installation. But below, we see the mouse control scenario we just downloaded. If we click through the available options in the toolbar, we can see we get a list of words in this scenario, we get the grammar of the scenario, 
the trainings tags that are associated with the current scenario, and the commands. All of this is empty with the standard scenario, but if we switch to the mouse control scenario, we will see that every section changes and adapts to this new scenario. So we get the vocabulary of the mouse scenario, grammar of the mouse scenario, a trainings text where we could train the mouse control if we really wanted to, and the commands associated with this scenario. In the command section we can also see that, for example, the mouse control has a command control mouse which launches the control. So we could try it out. Let's activate Simon and test the mouse control. Control mouse 5 1 3 5 1 We can see that the mouse control is working, and we didn't even train a word. If you remember, previously I said that in the list above we can change the currently available scenarios, and we can do this by clicking on Manage Scenarios. This brings up this management dialog where we can see the currently loaded scenarios. So for example, if we move this to the left, then it won't show up in the list anymore like this. But we can also import scenarios from a file or download them again and we can export scenarios also to a file and publish them on the internet. But for now let's go back to importing new scenarios. Just controlling the mouse is a bit boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install more scenarios. For example we can download the Firefox scenario to control the popular web browser. As always, please check the details section before installing it. Because, for example, in the case of the Firefox scenario, it says that in order to use all the functions of this scenario, you need to install an additional add-on for, for Firefox. This extension is linked here. I already installed this extension before recording this, so I don't have to do it. I just press install and I have installed this scenario. Okay, let's see. What else could we need? I'd say we install a keyboard scenario for typing texts and we install the recognition control. Anything else? Yes, the window management. With the window management plugin uh, scenario we can um, say stuff like next window, previous window, close window and so on, which is very helpful. Okay. Now just press close and we'll see a lot of new scenarios in this list. We can move this around if we wanted to. But yeah, that's it. So if we just select OK, we can see a lot of new scenarios have appeared in our list. So let's try them out. We can clearly check available commands just by browsing through the scenarios. For example, we see there's a start browser. There are commands like page up, page down, page back and so on. Start browser. Show places. 1. Page down. Page up. Input number. 9. OK. Show places. 3. Input number. 8. Back. 1. 9. OK. Show keyboard. Help. Ocean. Ugly. Ship. Elephant. Return. Close keyboard. Input number. 6, 9, OK. Page down. Page down. Control mouse. 4, 3, 
1. Cancel. Control mouse. 4. 3. 1. 5. 1. Page down. Page up. Show all windows. Right. OK. Next window. Close window. Pause recognition. OK. Well, even in this short demonstration, you can see that even without training, the system works fairly well. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and you will check Simon for yourself. And I also hope that in a few months we will have a lot more user contributed scenarios and the ecosystem will hopefully grow even more. So um, thanks for watching and have fun.